Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to sync up your Xbox Series X controller to your Windows machine to use it on the PCS X2 emulator. I'll be creating videos on how to use this on the PCX, PCS X2 emulator on different operating systems and on different emulators. So feel free to check out those videos. So there are two ways of doing this. You can either essentially make it a wired controller using a USB type C cable, <laughs> unfortunately, and I think it is stupid. It does not include the, you know, the Xbox Series X or the Xbox One S. I mean, the Xbox Series S, I guess, because, you know, it's the same controller. It's just white. So basically the new what they call the Xbox wireless controller. That's just what they're calling it. So the new Xbox wireless controller does not include a cable with it so in the console box. So you can either use a USB type C that will go into the controller. And on the other end, you can either have USB type A or some other you know usb type c if your computer supports it so if we go to if we type in game go to set up usb game controllers nothing will appear here and if i connect this to my computer the us regular usb in if i plug the controller let's move the phone out the way phone 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 plug this in it vibrated light comes on controller will appear here detects it as xbox one that doesn't matter okay so if we go to properties the buttons are detected bear in mind the share button is not detected because it's technically picking it up as an xbox one controller at a later date they may update it so it can be detected but for now they haven't and honestly i don't think that's really a big deal so that's one way of doing it that's the wired way there's also a wireless way as well also the other thing is i found this is only for the wireless way make sure you've got your windows 10 updated to the latest version you know you just go here type in update check for updates you know click check for updates download any updates you have because the wireless version did not work for me until i mean the wireless option until I update my OS. So just make sure you do that. So if I disconnect this, you won't get this error if you actually close down this window. So that's fine. I'm gonna put this over here. It's trying to find, I'm gonna turn it off by keeping it pressed because it's trying to find something to sync to because the controller was previously on. Okay, so the controller is now turned off. So to sync this up wirelessly, you need a Bluetooth dongle. You can get something cheap off Amazon or eBay. I just got something off eBay for, I think, a few quid. It's just really cheap. That's all you need. So what you want to do is just search for Bluetooth and other devices. You can either use this option or go to devices and printers and use the added device option. Totally up to you. So I'm going to use this option, add Bluetooth over the device. I'm going to click that. But before I do that, there's a sync button at the top just next to the USB Type-C port. So if you keep that pressed for a few seconds, you're going to sync mode. So when this is flashing pretty fast, go to Bluetooth and it will appear here in a second. Just wait in. <laughs> uh, still not appeared. Should appear any moment now. Uh, let me try. The setting menu seems to have crashed or, you know, sort of locked up. Let me just open up that again. If that happens, just close it and reopen it. It's still in sync mode, so that's fine. After a while, it will turn off. So if it turns off, just make sure you keep it pressed again. There we go. So if we keep keep that pressed, not keep it pressed, just click it. This goes solid and it's now synced up and it will appear down here somewhere okay so you can just you know disconnect it from here so to actually make sure this is working again go to the game setup controllers and 
not appear in here. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. You know what? I think I know what may have happened. I'm going to remove the device. Uh, let's just disconnect the USB just in case. Go to add Bluetooth again. Rethink Bluetooth. So it's ah, connected to the wrong device. There we go. Okay, let's type in game, set up USB game controllers. There we go, it has now appeared. So if you get that issue, it should really appear here. I only had it because I'd already connected it for some reason. So I tried to do a resync, it messed up. So if you have that, just remove it and then re-add it. Minimize, and if we go here, again, same thing. The controls work, except for the share button. So everything is working. So whether you was doing the wireless or the wired option, you're all good to go now. Now if we launch your PCSX2, you can use an older version, that is fine. Just want to say this is a video educational video, not condoning piracy. So this is just for educational purposes. For now, what we do is go to config, controllers, plugin settings, and go to pad one or two, depending on which one you want. If you already have some controls there, you can just you know select a particular one, click delete, and you would delete it. You can do quick setup. I like to do it manually to be fair. So I can just click on it. So if I click on L1. If I click that button, it's detected it. If I do R1 and L2, R2. So you're doing allow all devices. So you can mix and match it with a keyboard and a mouse potentially. If you don't, you just want to do, you know, like X input. You can see where it is in general. Okay, so we've mapped them. Let's map select. I'll map that for the for this option multitasking button. Start. Analog, I mean, if you really want an analog button, you can put it. I'll probably just put it on something like the keyboard so it's separate. And up, left, right, uh, right, and down. Okay, so now let's do the face button. So I'm just going to do Y for triangle. So I'm going to keep the layout the same in terms of where they are on the individual sections. But you can totally map it how you want. You can flip the analog sticks, flip the face buttons with the triggers, whatever you want. That's the beauty of using an emulator. So let's you do the left analog stick. Ah. Uh, I feel like I messed something up there. Because I did left, but I did left based on my left not the actual left so left is the right for me and alfre would just click this in now let's do up left right down alfre and obviously you know force feedback is there as well be able to hear that and you can do small motor force feedback which is slightly different so you know feel free to experiment with that feel free to but that's pretty much it click ah oh, did i literally just click cancel then that is so annoying it's not gonna say let me quickly blast through it There we go, click apply, click OK, and we're all good to go. You can map it for pad 2 as well. So if I was to boot an ISO, and if I go to PCSX2, I'll put in here, let's boot up Tekken 4.
Okay, here we go. I'm just going to turn the volume down just so it's easier for you to hear me. And if I click the start and select button, it skips it. I can, let me just make it a little bit bigger. I can go up and down. So if I just click A, let's go to Arcade Battle. And let's do Christy. So pay basically Eddie Guerrero. And I'm gonna press X and circle, which is A and B, and just do her signature move. Also Eddie's move, which he was taught by her I think grandfather, which was Eddie's teacher. Or father, I think grandfather. There you go. I can punch. I can move. Let me just beat Xiao Yu. The controls are very clicky, very nice, feel very good. This dude. Yes, so let me just win one more time. Skip it with the start button. Obviously, those are the controls of this particular game. Okay, so that's it. I can obviously just go back to the main menu for this game by pressing start and select. And it is that simple to connect up the Xbox Series X controller. So if you had connected, connected it right a while, you would just skip directly to the PCSX2 portion and, you know, do the mapping. And that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.